got to tell you, Callie, we had so much fun doing this next story today. Surprising a Clendenin family whose struggles we have been following for more than two months now. They nearly lost their home, everything they had to the June floods. But the one thing they held on to, their mud-covered, tattered American flag was still flying on their front porch once the water receded. Now it's going to hang forever preserved thanks to an incredible act of kindness from Michaels. It was this pic I shared on Twitter that set off a chain reaction at Michael's. Marie Clark holding her muddied American flag next to a new one, the only thing left standing when the floodwaters went away. She wanted to preserve it, a testament to their survival. But the cost. I would not have ever been able to afford a $2,000 framing. Until we told Michael's about the Clark's plight. All right, so this is the flag. It took some wrangling just to get it away from Marie, but her husband Aaron helped us out with that. I am so excited to take it here into Michael's and get this thing matted and framed. Framer Eric Zeller showed us what it would look like even before the job was done. It starts at $1,727. I know Michael's as a company likes to give back to the community. For our store to be a part of that is really amazing. Framing manager Sarah Taylor used an archival acid-free mat to protect the flag from any further damage from the toxic mud. She sewed it down by hand. We chose a barn wood grain distressed with red made in America. And then it is hand milled and painted in North Carolina and then cut and shipped to us. We wrapped it, signed it, I hope it fits, then hit the highway. Here we go. Okay, Marie, you do the honors. Your heart is racing. Your heart is racing? <laughs> Don't have a heart attack. <laughs> it is absolutely, absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Sarah. Oh, that oh, yeah. is just amazing. Do you like what we chose? I love it. I'm speechless. <laughs> it's beautiful. There are lots of hugs and lots of tears of joy this time. Now, the Clarks are not even finished putting their floors back in yet, but they did spend their very first night home last night. The flag will hang in their game room where the pool table's blue top, they believe, will match the flag perfectly. Again, our thanks to Michaels for making their dream come true, picking up the tab for the Clarks. They are so grateful tonight.